Hi everyone, I'm Tori, an adult doll collector, and I create videos for the enjoyment of other adult doll collectors and doll enthusiasts. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today I'm sharing one of my dolls that is not a reborn doll. Mostly here on my channel I share my reborn art dolls, but occasionally I also share my realistic factory made authentic dolls. Not too long ago, I did an unboxing video of this doll. This is a Behringer La Baby doll. I dressed her up so you could see what she looks like in real baby clothing and with a real baby pacifier. I got her for $20 on Amazon. If you missed that video of her unboxing and review, you can go back and watch it if you want to see more details about her or if you want the link to this doll yourself. I'll probably also add the link here on this video. But a lot of you said in the comments section of that video that you really loved her and that you wanted to see me put her on a reborn doll cloth body. Now there are a couple reasons why I wanted to do this. One, it would make her just a little bit more proportionate. Two, I can add some weighting to her so she feels more realistic and um, and more, I don't know, more more realistic to hold. I really love having my dolls weighted just right so they feel like a real baby when you hold them. And I really wanted to see McPherson's Arts and Crafts um, one quarter limb cloth bodies because I've never seen one of these in person. They're only $15.99 in the US. Now McPherson's is in Canada, but let me tell you, they have the fastest shipping ever. I don't know why, I don't know how. I'm in the US and when I order from them, I always get my items in just a couple days. It's amazing. But yeah, $15.99 for this really nice quality cloth body. I'm really excited to put it on her. So that's what we're doing today. We have the stockings for the waiting here, the zip tie cutter, the zip ties, the waiting. Now I will say, all my other materials, except for the cloth body, came from Bountiful Baby. And then, of course, I have my stuffing here, but that's way too big to sit on the changing table here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wait, one more thing. I do want to mention that you can just add weight to this cloth body that she already has and restuff it if you want different stuffing. Um, you don't have to change the cloth body on this doll to be able to put weight into her. These dolls are put together with zip ties just like reborn dolls are. So you can just cut the zip ties, put some weighting into her, how you would like her cloth body to be, and keep her on this cloth body if you choose. That would be even more affordable. Now, in all, in all, I spent $36 for this doll and then the cloth body that I'm going to be putting her on. I already had all the other materials to do this project. So for me, this is a super affordable new doll to add to my collection. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is stuff and weight the new cloth body. And then we'll get her taken apart. So let me just move things around a little bit here. Put her right there so you all can still see her. There are many, many videos here on YouTube that talk about how to stuff your reborn doll cloth body. So I will not go in super in depth about it, but it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple to do. The stuffing that I'm using here is, I believe this is called Angel Silk. It's Angel something. <laughs> I think it's Angel Silk. Um, I purchased mine from Bountiful Baby. I really love it. After trying out this stuffing, I'll never ever go back to any other type of stuffing for my dolls. That's just personal preference. I have a whole brand new box of it in the closet. <laughs> and I'm almost out of my very first box that I ever purchased of it. Also, the cloth body that I purchased, this is for 20 inch dolls. That's what it said. Now this doll is supposed to be 20 inches, but it looks like the body, like the actual body part, the torso, might be a little bit longer in her original cloth body. So we'll see how that looks. 
Okay, we've got a little bit of stuffing. Now we need to make some stockings with waiting. Sorry about the light getting a little bit odd here and there. Um, the sunlight is coming in. It's like coming and going. It's kind of cloudy here today. So I should have brought scissors for these bags of waiting. Now this is the tricky part. Or should I say it's not really tricky. It's just annoying. Um, if you get glass beads all over the place, it takes forever to get them all um, found and vacuumed up. So we're just going to dump this bag of waiting into one of the stockings. I'm going to put the whole pound in here. It's a pound per bag. I'm trying to get them all out. Ah! See? See what I mean? I just dumped tiny little glass beads everywhere. So I have to get my vacuum out. So this one is going to be for inside the torso of the doll. And I tied it like this so that it will lay in here in the torso just right. And what I like to do with these longer stockings, I like to double it over because if Oh my goodness, it doesn't want to work. Okay, there we go. <laughs> if um, the stocking were to tear, since it is a very fragile fabric, then, yeah, there's just an extra layer to prevent glass beads from falling out. See, that's going to be perfect. So let's place that into the torso. Oh my goodness, these little, um, the little, what do you call these, like the little joints in here, they are pretty sharp, so be careful with that. I just discovered that, <laughs> kind of scratched me. Okay, I don't know if one pound is going to be enough in the cloth body, but I'm a little bit low on weighting right now, so I think that's going to have to do for now. Let me add a little bit more stuffing. And then I think the torso will be done. Yeah, at a later date, I'll probably do a smaller stocking to put up here towards the top of the torso so that um, the head will kind of like fall back a little more. It's just a little more realistic. Let's get another stocking out for the weighting that's going to go in her head. I'm probably going to need to buy stockings again soon, too. But you know what? I actually shouldn't even need my zip ties because there are zip ties with the cloth body. That's really nice, too. Um, I It didn't even occur to me that <laughs> they would be there. But, okay. Let's go ahead and stuff the limbs. I've seen people stuff one quarter limbed doll's limbs with glass beads or with stuffing but I think today I'm just going to stuff these with stuffing I may change that later that's the great thing about learning how to do all this yourself you really start to understand your personal preferences when it comes to your doll collection and restuffing and reweighting your dolls and once you figure that out what you like um and you learn how to do it you can just change and customize your dolls whenever you need to or want to. I'm not sure. That might be a little too much stuffing on this arm. I think that's good for the arms. Now let's do the legs. Now I don't want to overstuff the limbs because I want them to be flexible and squishy. Now I think it's time to take this doll apart.
So here's the cloth body that she comes on. And again, you can see this more in depth um, in her unboxing and review video that I did of this doll. But as you can see, I just think that this cloth body is going to be a lot more proportionate and realistic when it comes to posing and dressing. Okay, now I have my little zip tie cutter tool here. And let me show you that she is put together the same. There at the back of the neck, you can see the zip tie right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut these zip ties. Also, I think I did forget to mention in the other video of her that she weighs almost nothing. This doll weighs nothing. Um, <laughs> she's super lightweight. The stuffing they used is super lightweight, which by the way, I was wondering what the quality of the stuffing on the inside would be like. It's actually very soft, very high quality stuffing. I highly recommend these dolls. Behringer dolls are my second favorite type of doll to collect after reborn dolls. And a lot of you also were talking in the comments of, of the last video of this doll about how Behringer dolls were some of the first reborn dolls. Yes, they were. People were taking these realistic Behringer dolls and repainting them. And that's how the term reborn doll even came around. Sorry that I'm not really showing this process too much. It's just hard to work with this sharp tool. Um, whoops. There I am bumping the camera. And I'm trying to, let's see if I can show this at least once, but you just get your tool in there and cut the zip tie. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult. But it's really that easy. I just realized one thing that you're going to have to do if you plan on adding any weighting to the hands and feet is to cut a bigger hole here. Um, both the feet and the hands are the same. No big deal. This is very soft vinyl. It'll be very easy to cut with just an exacto knife, um, a crafting knife. I think that they call it either one of those. But I'll have to have my husband help me with that. I am legally blind, so using a very sharp tool very close to my face is not the best idea. So, we're just going to move ahead um, with putting her together, and I will just have him do this at some point soon. The great thing about these Behringer dolls that have already been on a cloth body as well, they already have this this piece on the neck. If you are customizing one of the full body vinyl Behringer dolls onto a cloth body, you do have to find either a plumbing piece or a um, like a neck plug that you can get from Bountiful Baby to put there and glue it um, so that there's a spot for the zip tie to hold on to. So yeah, this is a super easy customization project. I customized one of the Behringer what do they call them? La Newborn dolls in a video I think a few months ago now. That was a fun customization project but if you go back and watch that video you'll see that I had some trouble with the oh wow this might be too heavy. Uh oh this might be too heavy. I mean this would be perfect for the inside of the body of a doll but Hmm. I don't know. I do like my doll's heads to be pretty heavy, but that's pretty heavy. Okay, you know what? We're just experimenting. We're going to see how this goes and just try it. I like my dolls super heavy, but um, without any weighting added to the limbs... Um, I don't know if I want her head to be super, super heavy. We'll see how it goes. You know what? We're going to try it. This is a video all about experimenting. This is my very first time customizing one of these particular Behringer dolls. So, all right. We'll fit the weighting into the head. And then 
stuff it as well. Another way you can do this, you can put the stocking directly inside of the head and then just pour glass beads in and then tie it. So then you don't have to do this work of like slowly getting it in there. But I prefer to do it this way just in case. Just in case. Okay, that's a really heavy, heavy baby. We'll see how it is. We can always change it later. It's not a big deal. You know what? I think I'm going to use her stuffing from her original cloth body for the head. The reason I'm going to do that is because, one, I don't want to waste it. It is good quality stuffing, but also I don't want to use up all my angel silk, which is expensive stuffing, in the head of the doll where you won't even, you know, it's not like I'm going to be feeling this stuffing every day. We're going to just repurpose that. And I'll keep this cloth body too. I don't know what I would ever repurpose it for, but you never know. I try to repurpose as much as I can and not waste anything. Another thing that you could do to customize one of these dolls is to add a magnet. You can glue it with E6000 on the inside of the mouth or in the chin so that you can use magnetic pacifiers. But for this doll in particular, she doesn't need that because she's got that slightly open mouth. So I just took a regular pacifier and I cut it like this. And it fits in your mouth and stays very, very well. Last minute decision change. I decided that I would not be happy, just personally, um, with the limbs not being weighted. So I managed to cut these actually using my little zip tie cutter tool. Probably not the best thing to use, but it was easy um, to just quickly cut this because the vinyl is very thin. And then I added some waiting beads and then stuffing to top it off to keep the waiting beads in place. And um, you also want to stuff it really well here. It helps to make the vinyl continue to hold its shape up here so when you attach it, it doesn't just pop right off. Okay, so now it's time for the, do you, would you say the birth of this baby? <laughs> She's going to be put on her cloth body. And I do think that eventually I will put weighting into her limbs, but for now, I think this is good. Oh my goodness, she's going to be so, so cuddly and sweet. Oh my goodness. I actually am regretting not putting more weighting into her cloth body. So I probably will do that. Um, but let's go ahead and get her zip ties trimmed. And look at her. She's born. Look at that. Look at her. Oh my goodness. I am beyond thrilled about this doll. And to be honest with y'all, I have another one of these coming to customize as well. <laughs> I just could not help myself. But I wanted a couple of different skin tones and a couple of different um, uh, face sculpts. So look at her. Oh my goodness. All right, we're ready to get her dressed. Now this is the diaper that she was wearing earlier. So she's going back into that. This is a size one diaper and it fits her a lot better because she is more proportionate now. I will eventually take her, there's 
stuffing sticking to everything. I will eventually take her apart again just to add some more um, weighting to her torso. Here's the cute outfit we're going to put her in. She's got this muslin one. My camera stopped recording for a second, but um, she's going to be wearing this muslin cat and jack top. Well, it's not a top. It's a onesie. And I'm pairing it with these really cute overalls with this little teddy bear and um, flowers. Perfect for kind of going towards spring. It's very warm outfit for winter. This is a vintage Carter's three month outfit. So we'll see how she fits in three months. That'll be really interesting. She was wearing newborn when she was in on her original cloth body. And I had changed her. And we're going to pair it with this white bow. Let's see how she looks. there she is three months seems to be a tiny bit big on her but it still fits her really well and oh my goodness i cannot i cannot believe this actually oh my goodness you guys she feels so 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 realistic to hold and she's just moving like a real baby <gasps> Oh my goodness, I cannot. I, I cannot get over it. I I knew this was going to be amazing, but I did not know how amazing. Look, she can suck on her finger too. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. Now she just needs a name. Look at her little feet. I don't know if I showed a close-up of her little feet, but look at this one, how it's posed. She can pose in so many different ways now. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Just look at her. Oh my goodness. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you if you want to customize one of these dolls yourself um, or if you just, you know, were curious and wanted to see the process. I really need to come up with a name for this little girl. I'll be looking for names for her today because I cannot wait to do more videos with her. She just feels so nice to hold now. She's perfect on this cloth body. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now about how perfect she is. Thanks for watching, everyone.